Hi, second graders, and welcome to lesson 11 of EL. Today we're going to be reading A Place for Butterflies and talking about why butterflies are important. This should be really familiar because we've already done it with bats. Our guiding questions. What dangers do pollinators face? What harmful things do they have to deal with? Our other question. Why should people protect pollinators? Why should we keep them safe? We are going to determine why butterflies are important to plants and animals by reading sections of A Place for Butterflies. That means we're going to figure out why butterflies are needed by plants and animals by reading parts of A Place for Butterflies. Remember, when we read nonfiction books, we don't always have to read the entire book, okay? I want you to listen for a reason why butterflies are important to plants, why they are important to plants. When too many butterflies die, other living things may also have trouble surviving. That's why it's so important to protect butterflies and the places they live. Hmm. That didn't give me quite enough information, so I think I need to look at my headings on the page. Ah, plants need butterflies. Let's read that. As a butterfly feeds on flower nectar, it becomes dusted with pollen. When the insect flies to another flower, the pollen goes along for the ride. At the next stop, some pollen falls off the butterfly's body and lands on the flower. Then the plant can use material in the pollen to make seeds, which will grow into new plants. Butterflies and moths pollinate more plants than any other insect except bees. Without butterflies, some flowering plants might disappear from Earth forever. What is one reason butterflies are important to plants? Hopefully you said, Butterflies are important to plants because they spread pollen from flower to flower. Without them, some plants could disappear. If you said that butterflies need plants to eat, that's true, but that does not tell why plants need butterflies. If you said that butterflies help birds find flowers, you probably just looked at the picture because the text doesn't say anything about that. All right, now, we're going to listen for why butterflies are important to animals. Hmm, where on my page could I find that information? Oh, I know. Other animals need butterflies. Butterflies are an important part of the food chain. Caterpillars rarely gobble up enough leaves to kill a plant. As they eat, their droppings fall to the ground and add nutrients to the soil. That means that when the caterpillar eats and goes to the bathroom, it's uh, waste, it makes the soil richer for plants to be able to grow. Both caterpillars and chrysalids are a good source of food for other insects, as well as mice, opossums, skunks, birds, and toads. Adult butterflies are often eaten by spiders, dragonflies, and praying mantids. Without butterflies, many other creatures would go hungry. Why do animals need butterflies? Hopefully, you said, many animals eat caterpillars and butterflies. If you said that animals needed butterflies because they are pretty, or butterflies help animals get pollen, you weren't listening quite closely enough. Butterflies are pretty, but that doesn't tell us why animals need them. And butterflies don't help animals get pollen. They help plants get pollen. Hmm. I know that the text said that some animals like to eat caterpillars and some like to eat butterflies, but I can't remember which ones like to eat what. I bet if I read that section again, my super second graders are going to be able to tell me. Here's what we're going to do, guys. I'm going to listen for what animals feed on butterflies. I want you to listen for what animals feed on caterpillars and chrysalids. So I'm reading about what animals eat butterflies. You're listening 
for what animals eat caterpillars and chrysalids. Let's read our section again. Butterflies are an important part of the food chain. Caterpillars rarely gobble up enough leaves to kill a plant. As they eat, their droppings fall to the soil and add nutrients to the soil. Both caterpillars and chrysalids are good sources of food for other insects, as well as mice, opossums, skunks, birds, and toads. Adult butterflies are often eaten by spiders, dragonflies, and praying mantids. Without butterflies, many other creatures would go hungry. What animals eat caterpillars and chrysalids? So, spiders, dragonflies, and praying mantids eat butterflies. Insects, mice, opossums, skunks, birds, and toads eat caterpillars and chrysalids. These are some of the animals that eat butterflies. Right here, I see my frog, I mean, they eat caterpillars. Right here, I see my frog eating a caterpillar, and I also see a bird eating a caterpillar. Over here, I see spiders eating butterflies and a praying mantis eating a butterfly. Looks really cool. I'm glad that they're eating their food. All right, second graders, now go back to Google Classroom and complete why butterflies are important. You will have to tell me why they are important to plants and why they are important to animals. Make sure you click on the little icon to hear the directions. Good job today.